Hey, this is Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com. And today we're going to talk about how we can create conditional rollups inside of SmartSuite. I have here a sales CRM. And in this case, we want to be able to roll up our opportunities to their corresponding account record. If all we wanted to be able to see was the dollar value for those opportunities, we would think, well, great. This is why we have a rollup field. We can roll up our data. We could say, choose my opportunities. And my rollup field is going to be our estimated value. And we'll roll it up by summing the dollar value, that estimated value. But if you think about it, this use case wouldn't really make sense with a traditional rollup with no conditionality. Because why would we want to roll up our opportunities that are currently in progress compared to the revenue that we already locked in, our closed one opportunities? And then we'd be comparing that against our closed lost opportunities. Why would we just total that dollar value up? That's usually not a use case that we would think of. So in this case, we want to be able to say, only want to roll up opportunity dollar values if it's still currently in our pipeline. We don't care about those closed one or closed lost opportunities. So you'd think, okay, well, let me just click and add a condition here. But at this point, we don't actually have the functionality to create a condition within a rollup. Now, this is something that is a feature request, and I bet will get implemented at some point later down the road. But we don't have to worry about not having that functionality. We can actually create this ourselves using formula fields as opposed to our traditional rollup. Let's close out of this and we're going to create the logic ourselves. In this particular use case, I'm talking about CRMs and dollar values, but this could work for any time that we want to roll up some data. It could be the number of phone calls that we've made to something. It could be the number of tasks that we had. So you can extrapolate this and generalize it a little bit for other use cases as well. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my opportunities app, and I'm going to create a field, a formula, where we're going to determine if this is currently an open opportunity or a closed opportunity. And we're actually going to end up creating two different formula fields. And first, we're just going to start with understanding the opportunity being open or closed. Let's go ahead and create a new formula field. And we'll call this is open. And we need to go to our advanced editor. We won't be able to use our basic editor here. And because we're going to do an if statement, but we actually need to know if it's either of two values, we need to know if it's closed one or closed lost. So we can't do just a simple if expression. We actually need to do an if. And then within that, we need to do an or. We'll say if the stage is equal to closed one. And the other option we'll have is if the stage is equal to closed lost. So if either of those are true, then we're going to say that no, the opportunity is closed. And if it's anything else, we're going to say, yes, it's still open. Let's go ahead and add our field and let's see if this still works for us. So scoping is yes, closed one, no, no, yes, 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 no, and no. That's exactly what we need is to be able to evaluate to see, is our opportunity open? And the reason we added this formula is because we have multiple values. So we want to use that if or logic to determine the state of either of those if it matches closed one or closed lost. Now let's create our next formula field, which we will do over on our accounts, the actual rollup. When I say rollup, we still want to have that conditionality. So we're going to do a formula field here and we'll call this open value. Again, we'll go to our advanced editor. And we're going to do a sum if, because if we just did a sum, it's going to take everything. That's going to treat it like a traditional rollup. So we'll say sum if, and we're going to put in our opportunities. Use our opportunities. And this is where we want to reference our field that we just created that is open. So opportunities is open. 
if this is equal to yes, then we're going to sum up our opportunities. I'm going to use our estimated value. We're going to sum our estimated values only if the opportunities is open equals yes, which we already calculated which ones are yes and which ones are no. Go ahead and add that field. And now you can see this will sum up our existing accounts. And let's look at this A&P Industries. It says we have an open opportunity value of $150,000. Let's look at those opportunity records. And we have a couple of different opportunities. We have two of them. One is $150,000 and it's in discovery stage. That works for us. And this one is closed loss, $50,000, which is perfect because we don't want that to be calculated in that total. We don't want it to be $200,000 in this case. And then, of course, if we added other records or deleted other records, that's now going to keep that up to date as our formulas always do. So now we can see our open opportunity value on our account record using conditional logic. And remember, this is the same process you're going to use even if the use case is different. So maybe you're thinking about tasks and you only want to count the tasks depending on if we have a completed task or not. Same kind of process but you can use that logic that we did by creating two different formula fields. I hope this was helpful for you to see how we can create conditional rollups, even without using our traditional rollup field and instead using formulas. Now, if you have any questions about SmartSuite or you need help getting up and running in your implementation, I encourage you to check us out at automationhelpers.com where we're currently offering a free consultation. Book 30 minutes with us. We'd be happy to come in and help you out and see how we can be of service to you.